What's up guys, Lou here, and I'm moving along in the unboxing videos. I know all of you guys are anxious, want to get me to the official build video. Trust me, I want to get there too. So I'm going to have a little bit of an unboxing spree. Everything, everything you see here is going to be unboxed this week. I'm going to keep it moving right now, get to a major component in this uh, Ultimate Gaming PC project, of course, or any PC build for that matter. That's the motherboard. This one here is the Maximus 5 formula with Thunder FX. I'll tell you more about what that Thunder FX means in a quick second. This, of course, is from ASUS, and it is part of their ROG Republic of Gamers lineup. You get a free Diablo 3 mouse pad. It'll support SLI, which is important for us. As I open up the front door here, there's a little bit of Velcro there. You get a closer look at the Diablo 3 mouse pad, and then some of the features that are on the board, including Supreme FX, for absolutely awesome onboard audio for a motherboard. You've got something called Red Line, which is a physical PCB separation and EMI shield. Literally, there's a red line on the board that separates the sound portion of the board from the rest of it, so you can sort of not have any interference from other components on that board. It's also got Fusion Thermo, which is really awesome. It's this combo air cooling slash water cooling solution. I'll show you more about that when I get to the actual board. I'm not gonna bore you guys with just the box portion here. So let's go ahead and jump right inside and get a closer look. After all, this is unbox therapy and the unboxing is a big component in the buying experience. So first and foremost, let's pull out the larger box inside of here if I could get it out. There we go. So here's your motherboard. Damn, it looks pretty already, I can tell. And here is the Thunder FX box which you guys probably recognize the name from the front of the motherboard box. This is a very cool component in this unboxing, very unusual for a motherboard unboxing. As you see over here, you've got your power LED. This knob here explains a lot of what this box can do. So the left says PC, in the middle it says Xbox 360, and then to the far right it says PS3. Yes, this is a full-fledged external sound card that'll work with even your console, so you can upgrade the audio on your consoles as well. You've also got a nice volume knob here. Here are some more LEDs, master voice game. You've got headphone out, uh, microphone input, and Xbox 360 voice in, and then there's also a microphone built onto the unit, which is going to help with noise cancellation for your chat. It's gonna listen to ambient noise in the room and cancel that out of your chat stream. On the back of this Thunder FX box, you've got analog inputs. That's, of course, going to be used with your console. And then you've got USB 2.0 to be used with your PC. You can also use this with a laptop if you want to upgrade the audio on a gaming laptop or any laptop for that matter. So a very, very cool inclusion and something you don't get to see too often with a motherboard, even a motherboard of this magnitude. So here's a closer look at the actual Maximus 5 formula absolutely beautiful in my estimation, black and red color scheme. The, the thing that catches my attention right away is this Fusion Thermo design right here. As I said before, this can work with either air cooling or water cooling. I'm gonna be hooking up some custom water cooling to the Fusion Thermo. More information on that later on. I can't go too far into it right now, but trust me, you're gonna see some absolutely awesome water cooling in here. You've of course also got your socket right here, which is LGA 1155, perfect for my 3770K. Nice Republic of Gamers logo there. You can also see your RAM slots up here, dual channel, and then of course your PCIe slots right along here. Of course, we're gonna be sticking these wonderful GTX 680s up in those slots right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box as, as easy as I can and show you guys a little bit more detail on the ports, etc. So here's a closer look at the back panel on the motherboard. You've of course got your analog audio here as well as digital audio. You have your network, Ethernet port, two USB 3.0s, another digital audio. Of course, one of these is out, one of these is in. You have an HDMI port, display port, eSATA, two more USB 3s, your regular standard USB 2.0 ports, although the bottom port here can be switched to ROG Connect. This is your ROG Connect on and off switch, and then on the far end up here, you have a clear CMOS button. 
The sound portion that I talked about earlier happens right down in this region here, and you might be able to make out the line here that represents that shield that I mentioned earlier in the unboxing video. On the other side of the board, I'll go ahead and try and move it around here real quick. You're gonna see an absolute bevy right here of SATA connectors. This is gonna make sure you can connect all your different RAIDs, your SSDs, whatever you wanna do with this board. And then up along top, one more thing to mention in this unboxing, you've got um, some hardware buttons, a hardware start, and a hardware reset button. Now there's obviously more things included and there's a lot more detail I could go into on this board and how some of the features work. I'll be going more into that though as we lead up to the build video. Um, I'm gonna try and keep the unboxing somewhat brief. Now there's another box I've got to get to which of course are gonna be your accessories and there's a lot to cover in there as well. I don't want to make this a 20 minute video for obvious reasons. So here's a look at some of the other things that are included, all the goodies that come with this particular motherboard. I'll try and go through them as quickly as possible. So you've got a USB cable here, that's a standard USB. You've got a bunch of SATA cables or SATA cables, depending on how you wanna mention those. Um, a Thunder FX cable, that's a standard audio cable. It looks like, actually it looks like an Xbox chat cable. So they've even gone as far as including Xbox specific cables, yes. Here is another Xbox specific cable. So you can get the Thunder FX up and running with your console straight away. You've also got a Republic of Gamers SLI cable. Here is your back shield. You've got your driver's disc along with a fairly thick user guide. You're definitely gonna wanna read this in the case of a motherboard unboxing for obvious reasons. Um, lastly, you look at this here, you've got I'm, not, I'm Gaming Do Not Disturb, a little door hanger, so you can let everybody else know in the house to leave you alone. You have this antenna here, Obviously, this board features onboard uh, Wi-Fi. You've got a card built right in, so this is gonna be incredibly useful for getting better reception. Um, you've also got a ThunderFX USB, so you're fully uh, ready to go with your ThunderFX card. Um, this is actually a really, really cool little feature right here. This thing is called MPCIe Combo Card. This is a unique little interface that gives you some expandability options. Um, you're gonna actually be able to put a little mini PCIe um, SSD in here to help with boot times, etc., cetera, um, to give you a little boost. So that's a really cool thing. I'll go into more detail on that, like I said, um, in the actual build video, see if I can actually put that baby into operation in my build. You guys know I do wanna do an SSD raid. I am doing an SSD raid in here. I might even put some really nice, large traditional hard drives. I will put nice traditional hard drives in there for media, et cetera. The last thing in here you've got, of course, are your little power ground, reset ground, your little plugs there. So that pretty much wraps up all the components in this unboxing. I've gone ahead and made a major mess on my table here. This is a very beautiful motherboard. I can't get over the appearance of it. The black and red color scheme is is probably one of my favorite color schemes you can get. As I said earlier in this video, I obviously didn't cover absolutely everything about the board and the features. It is a very feature rich board for gaming. And uh, I'll be going into full detail when the build comes along and I actually start to put some of these amazing components and features to good use. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this unboxing, if you enjoy the Ultimate Gaming PC Project, please remember to leave a like and a favorite down below this video as it really does help out a bunch. And as I said earlier, I'm gonna get moving on all this stuff. I'm gonna speed it up. I'm gonna get going as quick as I can because I know you guys wanna see everything get unboxed as soon as possible. And trust me, I do too. I wanna get to that build video. All right guys, thanks as always for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. See you guys soon, later.